Hallelujah. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Our text for today is the gospel taken from St. John chapter 20. Have you ever been doubted? Has someone ever doubted your word? Questioned whether what you were saying or confessing or believing was true? Welcome to the world of St. Mary Magdalene. We don't actually know a whole lot about her from the scripture. We know that she was wealthy. We know that she loved the Lord. We know that our Lord had cast out seven demons from her. And so on that day, after he had died, she comes to help anoint his body. She comes to care for this one. And twice, not once, but twice, she has to tell the disciples the Lord had risen from the dead. So what does your reputation say about you? What does your reputation do to shape how people hear what you have to say? Do people believe you like they believed Mary? Not. This woman had had a glimpse of a new reality <coughs> through our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know what being possessed by seven demons was like. I'm going to guess it wasn't pleasant. But our Lord had taken this from her. He had freed her from her bondage. Had given her a glimpse of the release from sin and death and hell that is our because of him. Then he died. What would that be like? To have everything right for a time, only to have it ripped away from you. There it is. For you and me, we have a tendency to go through cycles of faith and unfaith, of trust and doubt. But for Mary, you can imagine what it was like going that Easter morning, knowing everything that had happened, how this one had received her, had loved her, had cared for her, forgiven her, and yet now he was dead. But then maybe he wasn't. First they go, and they see that he is not there, and they heard the confession of the angels. Jesus' resurrection, you see, is not about you, and about what you can bring to the table. It's not about your reputation. It's not about whether or not people will believe your word. Jesus' resurrection from the dead actually changes everything. Her and for you, for me. Jesus, because Jesus rose from the dead, your sin no longer shapes who you are. Because Jesus rose from the dead, for Mary and for you, there is a future that is right. Because Jesus rose from the dead, these words that we hear, kind of these churchy words that you hear repeated every so often, baptism, the Lord's Supper, Eucharist, word, forgiveness, these are no longer just words that you kind of hear, but because Jesus rose from the dead, these words, well, they change everything for you and in you. And all Mary could do was announce what she had seen and heard. Whether or not she was believed kind of wasn't her, wasn't her doing. And so it is with you and me. You know and 
believe that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Why? Because the scriptures testify to it. Because we hear and receive this message of forgiveness over and over and over again. That is the reality that God has given to you in Jesus Christ. And you can't control how others are going to receive that message. All you can do is announce it. All you can do is speak, as St. Peter says, of the hope that is within you. And God, who is greater and mightier than any of us, and yet comes to us in weakness, this God will use that announcement, that word, and bring the most amazing thing to those around you. Hope. Hope for a future. Hope that things actually will change. Because Jesus rose from the dead, you have a hope and a future and a life that is not simply end or ebb and flow as things go good or bad for you each and every day. You are lifted up. You are honored. You are raised with Christ in your baptism. And you are now free to speak of the hope that is in you. Rejoice this day with Mary and with all of the saints in the church that has come before us, both before and now and is yet to come. Rejoice that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and that he is the one that brings hope like no one else can. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And now the peace of God surpasses all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in true faith for life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We rise.